Welcome to Keeping It Simple Crafts. I hope you're having a great day. Today I have for you a Christmas tree bow topper tutorial. My Christmas tree is a seven foot slim Christmas tree. This bow tutorial will also work on a larger, fuller Christmas tree too. For this Christmas tree bow topper, I am going to be using three different colors of ribbon with wire. So my first color has a design and it's 2.5 inch width ribbon with wire. My second color's solid red, 2.5 inch width ribbon with wire. And my last color, solid, and it's only 1.5 inch width ribbon with wire. Now you're going to want to let out a long tail and this kind of depends on the height of your Christmas tree. I let out about an 18 inch tail. Now I'm making my first loop. So I'm pinching it together, adding it to my left hand, and this is about a five inch loop. Now this ribbon, you can't see it on camera, but it's on the wrong side, so I'm doing a half a turn to get it on the right side, making another five inch loop, just placing it in my left hand. Just check to make sure your loops are the same size on each side. Now I'm going to let out some more ribbon make another loop just pinch it together add it to your left hand hold it tight in your left hand check to make sure your loops are the same size let out some more ribbon and then i'm making my last five inch loop so i'm pinching it together adding it to my left hand just going to hold tight in my left hand now i'm going to let out a tail about 12 to 18 inches or so you can make yours longer or shorter. Now I'm going to go in with my second color, which has a design or a print. Now I'm going to let out a long tail, about the same length as the solid red ribbon, pinch it together, add it directly on top of the red ribbon, keep it tight in my left hand, same steps. I'm going to make a loop, pinch it together, Place it right on top of the red ribbon, same size loops. Check your loops to make sure they're the same size. Let out more ribbon, make another loop. Just add it to your left hand. Just be patient and try to make your loops the same size on each side. Let out more ribbon, make another loop. Add it to your hand. So we're doing two loops on the left, two loops on the right. Sometimes you have to twist the ribbon to keep the design on top when it has a print on it. Okay, so now I have my ribbon that has a design, the bow complete, so I'm letting out a 12 to 18 inch tail, and then I'm going to go in with my last color, which is only 1.5 inch width ribbon with wire. Same steps, we're going to let out a long tail and then place it directly on the second color of ribbon. So pinch it together, add it on top, same steps. Make five inch loops. If you're more comfortable holding the ribbon with your right hand, then hold the ribbon in your right hand, whichever way is easiest for you. You do not have to use three colors of ribbon if you do not want to. You could make this all with one color, or two colors, it's up to you. I'm just giving you some options and I just wanted to use some fun colors and fun designs this year on my Christmas tree. So I have two loops on the left and I'm making my last loop on the right. Make sure you make your loops the same size on each side. Then we're going to let out a tail 12 to 18 inches long. Okay, and now you're either going to need a zip tie or some floral wire, or both, and I like to use both on my bows. I like to wrap a zip tie around the center of my bow and then thread a piece of 20 gauge floral wire underneath the zip tie to attach it to my wreath or Christmas tree or whatever I'm working on. So now I'm taking the zip tie, wrapping it nice and tight around the center of my bow. Make sure you get the zip tie nice and tight. Then you're going to want to cut off the extra part of the zip tie. Next, we're going to dovetail the ends. So take 
the end, fold your ribbon in half with the edges to the left side, go to the folded side, cut away from the fold, and that makes the pretty V on the end. It just kind of dresses it up a little bit, or you could cut it at a slant. It's up to you. Make sure you do all of your tails, then now it's time to fluff and shape our bow. So I like to make my tails go in all the same direction, and then I like to stick my hand in each loop and open up my loops and fluff and shape my bow. So just take your time, be patient, and open up those loops and shape your bow. Sometimes this takes just a little bit of time, so just work with it until you get it shaped just like you want. You'll want to use ribbon with wire to make your bow because the loops will stand up, they will hold their shape, and it's just easier to work with. Okay guys, so now I have my bow fluffed and shaped. So here it is. This bow could also be used on a wreath, a garland, your Christmas tree, any kind of DIY where you need a bow. So this bow tutorial is not just for a Christmas tree bow topper. This is a beautiful bow that will look beautiful on any craft project you're working on. And it's so simple to make. You just need to take your time, be patient, try to make your loops the same size each time. And also, if you're going to splurge on something, I like to splurge on good quality ribbon. It's just easier to work with. The first two colors of ribbon that I used, I purchased it at Michael's, and then the thin 1.5 inch width ribbon, I purchased that ribbon at Sam's Club. Sam's Club has Christmas ribbon out right now. You can get um, 50 yards for around $8, or if you're getting the wider ribbon, you can get 25 yards for around $8 at Sam's Club. And here I'm taking a piece of 20 gauge floral wire going to the back of my bow and I'm just going to take the wire, thread it underneath the zip tie, and that way I can easily attach my Christmas tree bow topper to the top of my Christmas tree. So I'm just going to take my wires, wrap it around the top of my Christmas tree, give the wires a few twists, then fold them down. So isn't this an easy bow tutorial? And here's how my bow looks on my Christmas tree. You'll have to let me know in the comment section what you think. I am undecided if I'm going to put up my larger Christmas tree in my dining room or not, but I did a big bow, Christmas tree bow topper for it last year. So if you're looking for something a little bigger, a little fuller with more loops, I will link that tutorial for you in the description box. If you're new to my channel, I hope that you will subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please give this video a thumbs up, leave me a comment, share this tutorial, and thank you guys that always leave the sweetest and most positive comments on my videos. I really appreciate y'all so much. Thanks guys.